Hey guys, just a quick video this morning. This is a 1942 Emerson 78646 BC. This is a Navy issue uh, fan. This was um, made specifically for the US Navy. It actually has a, um, I don't know if you can see it in the video, has a US Navy stamp there in the upper left-hand corner of the badge. Um, really unique fan. Uh, I've seen a couple collectors with these. I've never uh, had the opportunity to buy one myself, but this one came up on eBay recently and I paid about, um, I think in the neighborhood of $200 shipped for it. It was shipped uh, really terribly, just thrown in a box and sent cross country, but it survived. A uh, testament to its really sturdy construction, just really thick uh, cast iron. All the parts are cast iron. And looking at this fan, you can see it's really built uh, very much unlike any other Emerson. It's got oil cups in the front and the back instead of um, Instead of wicks, it's got the solid shaft, typical of the government fans, but it's the only government fan that I know of that has the oil cups instead of the uh, wicks top and bottom. And the motor housing looks, it's unique to this model as well. And I'm not even sure that Emerson did the casting on this fan because typically the uh, casting numbers are inset in the, in the casting on the inside. On here, they actually stand out. So... I wouldn't be surprised if a different uh, different foundry actually casted these parts, but just a little observation. Another unique thing about the fan, it's a two-speed fan, uh, high and low, but it doesn't have a speed coil. It actually does the speeds in the windings of the motor itself. It's a six-pole motor with three wires, so it's got a common, then a high speed, and a low speed. Uh, pretty nice. Um, I kind of wonder why they didn't do more fans like that. Um, I guess it was cheaper to do the speed coil method. But anyways, that allows them to keep a, a small base. I really like how this fan looks. It's really meant to be wall mounted. It can be um, can be a desk fan, but um, due to the size of the base, I think it's best used wall mounted like this. So let's go ahead and switch it on on low. So I think low speed is around 850 RPM. High is like 1100. And again, it's a six pole motor, so it's not, um, not going to be as fast as a four, but it's got a good steep pitch on the blades. I actually really prefer that because it's pretty quiet. It moves a lot of air. It's very quiet. Um, you know, th this fan really serves a, an important function. And I was looking, I was thinking about putting a fan right here. This kitchen, um, I'm six foot four. This kitchen has an eight foot ceiling, fur downs and everything. Couldn't really do a ceiling fan in here. I needed a breeze because this is Houston. It's pretty hot. Um, so I wanted a fan. All these fans don't really make it all the way into the kitchen. But this one, uh, wall mounted does the job. So yeah, that's low speed. Off and high. And really low is enough. Um, so the way I mounted this, uh, I've got countersunk holes on the back side, washers, bolts, nuts, and uh, O-rings that, I don't know if you can see it, O-rings between the base and the washer that compress when you tighten everything up. Yeah, a little gap there from the O-rings. And then it's just uh, lag bolted to a stud and that's really all you need. But uh, yeah, that's it. 1942 Emerson 78646 BC, uh, commonly known as the Navy fan. Uh, what else can I say about it? Um, another unique thing is the way the blade attaches. So the blade and the shaft are actually keyed. There's a like a vertical rib on the shaft that the, <clears throat> the blade hub slides onto. It's a bit of a tight fit. Once you slide it on, there's a threaded section of the, sh of the shaft that you screw this nut onto, and that holds the whole assembly together. So instead of a traditional uh, set screw like you normally have on a solid shaft fan, it has a threaded section and a keyed section, and it all just kind of uh, comes together like that. Um, I guess that's about it. All right, thanks for watching.